Hey everybody, have you ever had this problem with a can tap when you're trying to put in the R134A? This has happened to me at least two or three times, and I thought I had it corrected, but this time I didn't. And I'm going to show you the problem. And this is what happened to me. You go to tap the can. You know how it works, and you put this thing in, and then once you got it in, you screw that in, and it punctures the can. Well, I screw it, I mean, I got this thing down as tight as it can go, and then I'm turning this thing as far as it goes. When you open it, nothing comes out. It isn't puncturing the can. So, I had, like I said, the problem happened to me in the past. So I went out, and this time when I bought this stuff, you can see it's just regular old R134. I bought it at Walmart, and I bought the adapter at Walmart, thinking, okay, this will take care of it. And I get it all set up, and I'm getting ready to charge the car. And same problem. Squeak, turn it in, open it up, nothing's coming out. And I've already got, you know, I've already evacuated the system and, you know, vacuumed it down, all that stuff. And what are you going to do? But this had happened to me once before. And when it happened once before, I fixed the problem by pulling out the gasket. Now look at the thickness of that little gasket that's in there. It's so thick that it's keeping the needle, you know, it's, it's, that gasket is so thick that even when you got it up to the can, the needle can't puncture the can. So I actually had pulled the gasket out in the past and, tr and did it with no gasket, and it, and it worked, but of course you're getting leakage, and you don't want that. So I'm looking at this darn thing, and the, the last time I had the problem before this time, I literally got, you know, I have a pack of these, these, you know, gasket seals, whatever you want to call them for the AC, and I took out one of these little green rings and I shoved it in there, and it worked. Now maybe a year and a half, two years has gone by, I don't know how long ago it was, and I got to do AC again, and I don't remember, and I'm looking at this thing, and I'm thinking, okay, but I, it won't screw into the hose. No matter how hard I try, it won't screw into the hose. So now my old brain is confused. But I got a new one that does screw into the hose, right? But it won't work because it's got this fat thing in there. So I pull the fat one out and then I get another, another one out of another one of these adapters and it's much skinnier it was skinnier than that and I says okay this will solve the problem and I put it in there and it still won't puncture the can so I pull it out and that's where the sandpaper comes in and I sanded it I took that thing and I kept sanding it and sanding it till it got pretty darn thin and I stuck it in there then it punctured the can and I was in business I looked on YouTube, I haven't seen anybody on YouTube that's had this problem, but I, I've had it with every adapter. This adapter wouldn't work, this adapter wouldn't work until I put the green O-ring in there, and this one here wouldn't work until I got one of these and sanded it down until it was thin enough to work. So after that I realized that the green one, it wasn't working because it wouldn't screw in because all I had, I could have fixed the problem quick because I had already fixed that one before by just taking that adapter off and stuck it on here. Anyways, long story short, if you're trying to put R134 in a car and it won't, and you, pump, you turn that thing in and it ain't puncturing the can, all you're going to do is take that fat gasket out, boom, and replace it with one of these little green O-rings and or 
take that thing and sand it down. And it's going to take you a while. <laughs> there might be something better than this you can use to get that thing down to size. And then you'll be okay. And last but not least, here's an old, oldie but a goodie that was used for the R12. And the R12 was, you know, obviously different. This thing here screws onto the can, the R134 adapter. The old R12 screwed into the can, and you had this this deal here that would this collar that would go on. But it, it won't work on this on this because it's a whole different setup. But I I kept this for years. Because I'm hoping maybe, maybe someday some pr crazy person will come up and give me a bunch of cans of R12 and say, I don't know what this stuff is. Do you want it? And I'll say, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Because I actually have a car that uses R112, but the AC doesn't work in it right now. And that's about it. I hope this helps somebody. Just take that fat little gasket and sand it down. Or throw a green o-ring in there that's the one that I got in there it's a little big you know so it doesn't fit perfectly in there but it works now they have a smaller one that goes right in and it, that smaller one might work I haven't tried it yet but I don't think I'm gonna have to anymore now that I fixed that everybody thanks for watching sorry I'm a bit confusing when I speak but I think you get the drift of it.